Good morning. Welcome back to another video of Total Tesla. My name is Craig. And this morning I got a doctor's appointment, so we're just going to head to the uh, to the office there. We're on uh, Hardware 4 version, FSD software version. Where's my software at? 12.5.6.3. I've had a few videos so far, so, so thank you very much for the people that have been watching and, and sharing their stories with uh, their experience. So we're going to head into FSD right now. My appointment's at 8.30. I'm going to get there by 8.28. Now, the cool thing about this is I have my uh, calendar set up. So if there's an appointment in my Google Calendar, I'm sure you can use whatever calendar you're using, it'll send that address to your car. So instead of going to work this morning, um, the car is already set up to take me to to my doctor's appointment. So something to add in if you know you have appointments, it's good to add your use your calendar, um, which is nice. And then now you don't have to even mess around with uh, navigation. All right, so we got some in inclement weather this morning. Got some uh, rain. It's moving out of the area, so I don't think it's going to be too heavy. But once we get on the highway, um, it, sh it should <laughs> degrade my FSD experience. We'll see if that happens. Uh, currently, the the speed limit in this location is 25. I'm doing 29. There is a railroad crossing coming up. It's like a spring morning in St. Louis. Uh, temperatures in the low 60s, a high near 70, but we have rain around this morning and thunderstorms expected uh, possibly tonight or this evening. All right, so slowing down slightly for the railroad crossing. All right, that's not bad. There's another Model Y in front of us here. It looks like there's some, some work going on to my left. So we got some slower traffic. Oh, full self-driving may be degraded and it's not really raining. It's just wet. <laughs> got a bus that's uh, stopping too for the pickup of the for school so yeah the uh, last couple videos have done well um, thanks again for watching appreciate the input the uh, you know, a couple things I need to go over some of those parking lot instances, um, you know, where it had that mishap at Ikea, which would be a nice, nice uh, time to go back there and see if that does it again. But if, th if that was just a, a one-off situation. Um, also checking if there's any improvements because we, oh, everybody's at a standstill. We got some people walking. All right person to my left is going all right we're good to go all right that handled, handled it well um, so we're going to retest some of these other issues um, and drives because we've seen in the past um, where the, maybe the first few drives are maybe a little rough I didn't think they were I thought they were pretty good actually much better than the previous version of FSD uh, which was 12.5.4.2. That was that was definitely a step back. All right, so we got some slower traffic because of the school bus up here. I'm going to be uh, late to my appointment. <laughs> Can't wait to get on the highway. <clears throat> It's all green. It looks green. That's good. So yeah, it's gonna. It's good to test these out and see if there's any uh, any changes or improvements. Overall, I feel that this version is is still the best version that we've had. Um, it, uh, there are some speed related issues. Um, 
at times, especially entering the highway. Um, and we'll see if it, if it actually happens again because we're going to take the same highway as I've taken normally to uh, to play hockey on Sundays. So we will see if the there's a speed related issue entering the highway ramp. Um, as far as like lane changing, it, I mean it's comfortable for me. I don't drive a lot, but um, let's see. Right now I am in for the highway at least. There's my autopilot. I'm in standard mode, so can't look at the screen. Speed limit's still 25 going right now, 25, 26, so that's not bad. It's much better than before because before it would be <laughs> at or below the speed limit and there would be no cars around. And it was, I had to always hit the accelerator. So at least at this point, I haven't had to do that as much. And the turns are good. Um, I think for as long, uh, for the most part, uh, staging for lanes have been good for making turns. So, yep. got a Model Y in front of us, and then to my left, and my blind spot, there's a new refresh Model Three. So, seeing more and more of these every day, it's great. And that's been happening for a while, so when you got the Model Y, what, the, the highest selling vehicle in the, in the world and soon to be probably in the United States, we'll find out. Alright, so right now I'm going 31 and a 25, it's, for the traffic it's perfect. As far as like scroll wheel, wheel capability in the city streets, there's really nothing you can do. It's just, there's no changing unless you want it up oh, the right, I'm sorry, it's a right scroll wheel. You can change the max setting using the right, right scroll, scroll wheel. But that's not really doing anything until you get to the highway, I believe. So we got some rain on the windshield. We need a, a wipe here. Let's see if it does it. I mean, for the highway setting, I usually... Probably change once I get there. I'll just set it to 70. All right, so we're going to make a right here. All right, we're just going to follow this Model Y. All right, I guess I got to yield, and we're good to go right now if I wanted to. But now there's cars coming, so I guess it's waiting. It's a good call with the, the rainy weather and the wet streets. No need to rush. And this pavement right here has a few potholes. Oh, right there. <laughs> Great. It's only going to get worse. All right, so right now I'm going 38, 39. So it's moving up. Need to stay probably just in this lane right here. Now, this is where I would go a little faster. Like, why am I going 41? There's nobody around me, though, so we'll just see what happens. All right, it's going up a little bit. I would go, I would be going a little faster, personally, so. We're getting up to speed slowly. And maybe for the weather conditions, maybe it's going that way, but it was dry last night, so. All right, full self-driving may be degraded again. It's not really raining, it's just wet. 
misty maybe at best. What do you guys think? I mean, uh, and this is acceptable, I guess, but I would be driving a little faster. Um, at least the speed limit, which is like you can get 50, 55, 60. All right, we're no, now we're up to 50. Now we're going to need to turn it on a little bit. There's a truck coming to my right. All right, now we're up to speed. Maybe it's just being safe. Entrance was good. Now we should stay. We really don't need to change lanes because the exit's going to be two exits up. But I'm in standard mode, so realistically, it'll, it'll try to move into uh, faster traffic. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Maybe the car wants to keep my appointment on time. <laughs> no, 8.30. Alright, so we got this exit and then the next exit up is when we need to move into the far right lane. I think most people would probably end up doing this maybe just because they want to get ahead of traffic maybe. So... And that's what standard mode is, where you can, it'll try to move into lanes that, that are faster, maybe. So, now we go back in. So, no problem with the lane selection, in my opinion. It's okay. It's driving safe. Very good lane placement, too. I'm right in the center of the lane too so I've heard some people talk about that with the Model Y this has been the best FSD version out even for the for any car and the Model Y takes advantage of it got one car merging over from the right but nobody else around me we're going to need to get in the right lane soon. Lane change is great, very smooth. I mean, it's probably better than I would do. <laughs> I mean, it was it was so smooth. placement's good too so very smooth not moving into that far on that far line there where I <laughs> where I have to brace myself so that's been a that's been a huge upgrade with the uh, new highway stack so everything's more natural now we're gonna get into more rush hour traffic on the, on the city streets so I could still go, I shouldn't have to yield because this lane is still existing. But it does end here basically before the stoplight. So it's just gonna go now. All that was safe and now it moves over. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. I was just worried about the cars behind me but sometimes people wanna just continue to drive straight because that lane is existing for cars that are coming off the ramp.
it'd, it'd be really I've heard that uh, in I think it's in China that the new at least their new navigation uh, maybe it's coming out but will basically time the speed limit or the I'm sorry the the, the, the lights so you'll know on the screen exactly when they're going to change I think that would be great I would love to see that and then <laughs> And then also with the trains that we have in St. Louis, I would love to know when the trains are about to cross the railroad tracks in my area. That would be great too. <laughs> yeah, those those would be great features as far as uh, monitoring traffic because you'll if you need to be somewhere and and the uh, the train is in the way of you getting somewhere, then you have to car doesn't know how to reroute at that point they're just it's just gonna stay um, but I think those would be great features at some point all right so we'll be eventually making a left so it has some time to do that we're 0.6 miles away so Half a mile almost. Half a mile now. All right, so, so far, no disengagements. I think the drive was great overall. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to um, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I know if if I'm getting over 2,000 uh, views, you know I don't have 2,000 subscribers. So if you are kindly hit the subscribe button. I'm going to do more drives as as much as I can. There's a hardware four car four vehicle, so you're definitely going to want to you know stay tuned with the latest updates. I mean I get that first um, hit of <laughs> new software updates, but with being a hardware four vehicle, you'll get it much quicker than most. And uh, then you'll see videos. So definitely please subscribe. Uh, don't forget to uh, like the video and comment. And if you wanna share the video with somebody that's interested in a Tesla, please do so. So once again, uh, thanks again for watching Total Tesla. We'll actually uh, pull in here and then we will auto park. Why not, right? Good to go on a turn. There's some walking right here. And it's safe. Park the car. Um, hold this right here. All right, that's gonna end the video. I'll do an, another auto park later, or maybe a summon. So, once again, thanks for watching Total Tesla. Have a great day. Take care.